So I found some uh, videos on my gallery. And if you're looking on testing your electrical on your new food truck that you're building or new food trailer, concession trailer, this is uh, where you can do like a test to see if everything's working, you wired everything correctly. I'm gonna clip the videos right in here. Uh, we're building a uh, food truck from scratch. This is a DIY series, how to build your food truck. I'm Frank Baltieres, and I'm gonna clip in those videos right here. And that way, if you have any questions on how to wire the electrical, how to wire your switches, how to wire your outlets, that's where my experience comes in. I've done electrical work, oh my gosh, since high school, long time. So with that, let me clip in those videos and see how we turned on the lights and tested out the electrical on the new food truck that we're gonna put up for sale. So Frank Baltier's DIY series, let's check it out. All right, so I just wanna give you guys a quick recap when it comes to the electrical of the outlets and the switches. That way uh, you don't get confused and you're able to actually do it yourself, right? With the right explanation, with the right guidance, you're able to do it yourself. Uh, let me run through how to do these outlets and switches one more time. That way if there's any uh, like questions that came up, that way hopefully I answer them here. So what I used here for my switches and outlets, which is kind of like over there, is I'm going to use these wire mold boxes. They're called wire mold uh, just because they're able to use on exposed surfaces because everything's covered up there. They, all co they come with this bracket and with the bracket just make sure it's level and then you attach it to the wall there whatever it is your stainless steel walls frp walls make sure you give it a nicely a nice secure attachment and then these come with screws that go right in this hole right there if you guys can see and that goes right there and the other one goes right there you got four of them on these two gang boxes and then you have oh here we go so you guys can see there's a small one right over there and then i put a double one over there and hopefully uh, that uh, gets you into the right perspective of how to put these wire mold boxes. That's what I use on the electrical here in the food truck with the Romex. Just gotta make sure that you know exactly how your colors coordinate on the Romex. If you're gonna use the red as a switch leg, a switch leg is nothing more than when you flip the switch on the light, one of them's always on, which could be your black, and then the red, when you flick the switch, is what gives power to the other side. That's why it's called the switch leg. Uh, that's the easiest way that I can explain it on there. Just make sure that all your hots, which is called your constant power, get connected and your switch legs get connected together. You don't wanna mix those up because then your light will always be on. So hopefully that helps you out with that explanation of the outlets and switches. So I'm gonna show you guys how I wired up this switch and this outlet that I was just showing you for the recap of the electrical. Uh, hopefully it makes sense. The wiring can get a little confusing if uh, you don't put your colors right and um, you forget what you do and you don't label them correctly. So let me show you guys what I did here. So I labeled every Romex cable that came in. This is from the outside light. This comes from the other window and this comes from the other switch right there. And I'll show you guys why I kept that off right now. So from the outside light, all you need is a switch leg. Since there's only one light, we just use the red as a switch leg. That way it's not confusing because black is usually our power. Uh, from the other window right there, we're going to bring in the power, the constant power, which is a black wire. And then since it has another light right up there with, that I want to control together, we're going to put the red as a switch leg that goes to the other wire. And that one's going to jump up to the other light. And then this is just a pigtail that they call it or like a jumper cable for the power from here. To here that way this outlet has power and then your neutral always usually comes in white and that's going to come from the other window and that's going to go to the outside light because a light always needs a neutral a power a switch like and a neutral a switch never has a neutral it just has the constant the switch like and the constant power hopefully that makes sense hopefully i didn't confuse you guys and then this one the reason i capped it off is because now Originally, I was going to grab the power from here to here, but now I grabbed it from that side over there. So I just left this here as an emergency, an extra for future use. No harm, no harm, no foul. It doesn't uh, really do anything. We're just going to wrap it into the box there. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Frank Bolt here is with the DIY series, building your food truck. Follow along. We're just chugging, chugging, chugging. Every episode is a little bit more in progress. And hypothetically speaking, just to give it a test, you can do this yourself too, just to give temporary power to your trailer or truck as, you as you're working on it. I plugged in just a extension cord 
regular old extension cord cut the head off the other side and then i plugged it into my 50 amp and just make sure that remember how i mentioned ah, where's it at you got the x the w the g and then on this side you have the y and since it's just a 120 you just want to connect one of them to one side the same one that you have your plug and this one i picked x so then I connect my neutral and my ground and then I can hook it up to the power that you have at your house or wherever you're working on your food truck construction. And that way you can test out all your electrical. So we're going to turn these on and they should turn on once I connect temporary power to this food truck. So let's try it out. So now comes the moment of just plugging it in temporarily, making sure that all your connections that you did on the electrical are correct. Turning on the generator plug. So we made this temporary uh, plug right here. If you guys can see, it's from an extension cord. We just cut the end off as I showed you guys just a little bit ago. So we're gonna plug this in. And it's just a regular 120 outlet. It's not gonna suck up a lot of amps because we're just running our lights and our outlets. And uh, let's go turn it on. So in the electrical, this is live right now. So you don't wanna stick your fingers in there. So just make sure that you use caution when you're working around electricity. Uh, stand back to the side when you're flipping on breakers because if they um, pop or they reset as we call it it'll throw like a spark so let's turn it on so far so good and if I wired everything correctly if I turn that switch on right over there these inside lights should turn on it's the moment of truth let's turn them on there it is my four lights are on these are 1000 lumen light bulbs so they're about 100 watts they're leds a thousand lumens uh the daylight is the color that i picked so that's what we have here nice and bright so you can work make up your whatever you want to cook in your food we're going to be selling it 7 by 16 trailer that is the electrical recap turning on the lights making sure that it all works good and then we're gonna just going to do like all the switches that are left and uh the outside lights technically they should work too but i don't have any light bulbs on them <laughs> so with that we're out of here uh, any questions drop them in the comments